okay so guys um this is our last section for today now we are going to look at how workers can be motivated financially so of course we've talked about uh, motivation theory so practically practically how can workers be motivated now there are two ways that uh, business managers or ceos can motivate their workers financially and non-financial rewards so of course financially we talk about money right and other incentives then non-financial we talk about uh, uh, giving the worker other things which is not money so these are two ways but we want to look at um financial rewards first financial rewards so financial rewards basically of course we are talking about payments so it has to do with money now there are ways that workers can be motivated financially so these are the ways so we have what we call wage so workers can be paid based on wage right so wage we are talking about payments on weekly basis or daily basis now even in wage there are two ways of course so you can see we have hourly or time-based wage rate so like what our friends in the u.s canada and advanced countries how they pay them they pay them based on hours so, so oh every hour i am paid 20 dollars uh, per hour or 15 dollars or whatever do you understand so in uk they say oh uh, 13 pounds they give me 30 pounds uh, per hour right uh -huh. then they calculate week then they give you the money so my friends in the u.s i know that's how they pay you i, I know anita is online and the rest my brother i could do Matthew. i know they pay you right that's how they pay you. good now so apart from that and bossman canada yes um now apart from uh, those in the advanced countries who receive pay based on um let's say hourly basis on hourly basis now there are also other ways that workers can be paid based on unit produce so this one i think in ghana too i mean you can have this one especially with the manual workers so mason and the rest right they are paid based on whatever that they produce so for instance if you are supposed to if you produce um 100 uh, bottles they will give you let's say 10 ghana cities per bottle then they uh, multiply by the number that you produce so this is what we call Peace rate, peace rate, and you realize that this one, um, this guy talk about it, um, Taylor, yes, where he talk about the economic man. Do you understand? You give the person money, then you see how the person will work, and you be paid based on whatever. So, in the U.S., when uh, Taylor came out with this theory, a lot of people adopted, and it helped. So, especially in the car uh, car manufacturing companies. They were using it where you see that people were working like machines because they know that if I produce this or if I do this, they will give me this amount. So you can motivate workers by using peace rates. Okay, so peace rates and um, hourly or time based wage are all wages, right? Then we also have what you call salaries, which most African countries use it. They understand. So you will work 30 days. <laughs> huh? 30 days then they will give you your so when i was in the classroom every month so i will get my salary right uh -huh. so that is salary paid on monthly basis paid on of course um the salary one good thing is that before they give you they will have to pay others like snake and others yes i know which to sometimes they pay those things okay and mostly salary are paid in the bank so at the end of the month they paid into your bank so if you want to motivate your worker at least you need to give the person salary or one then we also have commission so commission is based on um it's mostly has to do with sales right so if you sell this you have, you have 10 percent commission on each item that you sell so you can also use commission on commission base to motivate worker then of course we have P performance related P, PRP, and this one I know my HODs, uh, my former HODs and the rest, they used to do it a lot, where they will have to evaluate you yearly and see your work so that if they have to 
if the school or the organization that you work for have to give you money or what incentive, then they do that. But first of all, they need to evaluate you. So when I was in UCS, yes, I remember every year they do it. Um, quality assurance department in UCS, they will come around, they will give us some forms, then we fill. So they were evaluate. We were evaluating our teachers, right? Yes. So and uh, even when I was there, so. They will also bring papers, then our students will also fill, then they will evaluate us too. Then we have, so that's also one way that uh, workers can be motivated using PRP, performance related profit sharing. So this one has to be big, big organization. So if you know your company is that big, why not? You can devote some amount of profits and share it for your employees, especially at the end of the year. This one, the US and the other big company, they do it. But it's unfortunate most African countries they don't do some of these things. So I'm not surprised everybody wants to move outside. So guys, employers, CEOs, let's back our game. Yes, I know the economy is some weak, but still, if we want to um, 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 achieve success, if you want our business to grow, one of the things that you can do is to look at motivation again. Motivation is so key. It's so key if you want your workers to be satisfied, right? And when they are satisfied, productivity higher is for you. So, of course, now fringe benefit. Now, even though fringe benefit is not um, like giving the person physical money or payment or whatever, but it's also added to financial rewards. That's why mostly you see that the books they put it under financial rewards. So here we are talking about and mostly is giving to. Uh, the scene people with a senior position and stuff, so it can be head of department, it can be managers, they understand how it can be um, um, human resource managers, it can be other managers. So, when we talk about fringe benefit, then we are, give, we are talking about other things added to salaries, it can be companies' car, yes, it can be bungalow, right? House, it can be lunch, but for lunch, I don't think that it's only given to see the or workers in the companies that's companies' policy. But mostly, frame benefits. Some of some of them, like cars and the house, and is given to. But there are also others that for especially health benefits for um, wives or children or whatever. That one is for all. Okay, so um, that is uh, financial rewards. Okay, why should employees be motivated financially? So why? Why, why am I talking about all this financial payment or whatever? Is it that important? So let's see. The prospect of additional financial gain motivate employees to invest extra effort and time in their tax. Yes. So if you want the person to be motivated, financial rewards so important. Driving an upswing in overall productivity, yes, like I said, productivity will go higher. The Alignment of rewards with performance act as a clear signal that going the extra mile is yes. Moreover, these incentives also encourage employees to work harder, like we look at from the So if you want your people to put up their best, guys, you got to motivate them. Motivation is so key, especially in Africa, Ghana. We, we don't take motivation serious at all. And if I say we, I'm talking about employers, business, business managers, CEOs, yes. Please, motivation is key. So those workers who went to uh, Kotoka International Airport that they wanted to travel, do you think it's because maybe Abruchere or abroad is nice or whatever? No. They were going for greener pastures. Meanwhile, the pastures is here in Africa, Ghana, motherland. But because of some of these things, everybody wants to run away. So someone was like, how did you get here? Yes, one person wants to have all the money to himself or herself. God have mercy. But I believe that um, managers will change their mind to motivate. So motivation is not only giving the person money. There are a lot of things that we can do. You understand? Okay. So um, that is it for financial rewards. So it's been nice. Of course, we are left with non-financial rewards. We'll be right back.